Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I found out a meditation last night and a mudra, a hand position to do to, um, to dispel uh, energy threads of predators and reptile sorts of thoughts and uh, power over uh, feelings that are in the newosphere and seem to be flooding in and and upsetting you for whatever reason. And it's a very interesting technique. Um, it presupposes that these energies have to do with desire to control, control other people. Desire to control other people is a feature of the third chakra, willpower. And of course it, it also helps in self-improvement and uh, maintaining optimum health, for instance, because uh, we can maintain control over ourselves by doing the right diet and the right exercises and the right social interactions and so forth. So it's a very good chakra, the third chakra. But the problem is sometimes uh, sometimes my third chakra seems inundated with other people's third chakra acquisitive or predatorial instincts or perhaps of the acquisitive and predatorial instincts of the lower animals such as, as I said, the reptiles. Sometimes I say the ghosts of dinosaurs, you know, circulating through the astral realm, something like that. So, so I thought the heart chakra, the heart chakra is stronger in energy than the other chakras because it's the center. It's like, it's like the dynamo, the pump of the, of the energies of the Kundalini. If I were to say, I posited, uh, I am in control while feeling the, the fourth chakra, the heart chakra, then it could be that that would be distasteful to any astral beings or energies or thought forms that were flooding into my energy field with the intent to control. And the reason for that is that those energies, those strong energies, are repelled by the heart chakra, which is a totally different kind of energy. Heart energy is the, is the opposite of third chakra energy. Uh, the difference is well stated in the Law of One as service to others, that's the heart chakra, opposed to power over others, that's the third chakra. It was the difference that we rose to through Christ consciousness, through Christ's life and example of selfless sacrifice through his crucifixion which resulted in his glorious ascension. As it might for us were we to become like Christ. Perhaps we need not die in order to manifest ascended human qualities and energies, but it might feel like a dark night of the soul. It might feel almost like a COVID death. It might feel like we're losing all hope and finding faith only in the notion that God will be there with us, with our, with our pristine awareness, disembodied awareness, and through that we rise to a higher consciousness, you see. So anyway, it was getting to me last night, and I, I thought, I would put both hands on my heart chakra, one crossed over the other. And I would say, I am in control while placing my awareness on my hands and my heart chakra. And that might repel the predatorial energy set. Seems like they were trying to, to board me. You know, like you'd board a ship at sea. <laughs> the moment I tried it, it worked. It repelled whatever it was that was after me. 
it seemed like. Whatever energies were there were suddenly dispersed. Just to be on the safe side, I continued for an hour or so, but perhaps that was unnecessary. As I continued, this is what happened. I was lying um, face up. For an hour, I kept my hands there, and I said to myself, in my own heart, I said, I am in control. And energy flooded up. First, it, it revitalized my lower intestines. Then it moved slowly up, strong waves of upcoursing energy, to a triangle uh, whose tips were left and right edges of my lowest ribs and the apex of the triangle was my heart chakra where my two hands were were lying and where my awareness was placed and that whole area began to flood up energy until it reached the pranic reserve area under my my ribs you know about the pranic reserve right where vital energy is stored And I felt a sharp, prickling, multi-pointed pain on the left uh, side of my abdomen, just beneath the lowest left rib. That I felt, I felt that twice, and I felt it to be the opening of the funnel, that astral funnel, funnel that's an organelle, bringing vital force, vitality globules. into the pranic reserve where they are stored. Then I felt a dull... <laughs> Hello, dude. Hello. Uh, then I felt a, a, a <laughs> low... <laughs> what? What? Then I felt a dull pain in my gall gallbladder area, and that I felt to be a revitalization. <laughs> This hawk has it in. I mean, this raven has it in for me. I take it. It's scolding me. Um, it, I felt that to be a revitalization of my gallbladder. <clears throat> those two points were revitalized. After those two points were revitalized, then I felt a thrumming and filling of the energy uh, inside of this, this pyramid between the two lower points on my ribs and my heart and it went on and on for maybe a half an hour filling my body with energy. It was incredible. But then I felt too vitalized to fall asleep. I was just chock full of vitality globules it seemed, of pranic, pranic force. It was incredible really. It was the first. Well, when I do kundalini yoga, it, it also happens, but this is a different technique and an easy technique for someone who, who maybe is very young or very old. A safe technique, I feel. So, so then in an effort to, to calm down a little and just drift off to sleep, I placed both hands, one on top of the other, in the center of my lower abdomen. And, and I said, place my awareness there at the place where my two hands were, and I said uh, to, to the spot where the hands were, my heart is with you. My heart is with you. My heart is with you. You know, the lower abdomen is sometimes not appreciated too much. Sometimes people have a bad opinion of it. In women it might be because uh, they might be a, a little overweight, you know, and they, so they have a bad opinion of it. Uh, in men, it can be for other reasons, social embarrassment or who knows what. There are just a lot of reasons why the lower abdomen is greatly undervalued and underappreciated. So, so it really, those cells really need that love from time to time, I feel. And when I did that, when I placed those hands there for not too long, I fell asleep, finally. <laughs>